Hi everyone, this is Tony from Psych Studios, and today I'm going to cover a topic that I get asked a lot about. It's basically how to whiten teeth that are yellowed or dark in your photographs. And the process is very simple. There's a few steps to follow, and you can have great looking white teeth. So we're going to start out with our picture we have here open already in Photoshop. We're just going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay, that should be good. Now the first thing we're going to do is come over here and grab our magic wand tool. Now the tolerance is set to 32. That'll work. It's a pretty good number. What we're going to do is hold shift and we're going to make our initial selection and we're just going to try to get as much as we can here this area. We want to select our teeth, make it look good. And there may be, you know, have, you may have to come in and alter it a little bit. We want to get a pretty good selection, make sure we encompass the area of our teeth. Pretty good. That's going to be fine right there. Now that we have our selection made, uh, it, the best thing to do to smooth it out is we're going to feather it a little bit. And so we just go up to select, modify, feather. Now, depending on your project, you may have to play around with this a little bit. I suggest somewhere between 3 and 5 pixels. I'm going to go with 5. And you can kind of see how it smooths everything out. And don't worry if you get some of the gums inside. That's not a problem. Um, as you'll see later, it doesn't really affect it. So now that we've got our selection made, we're going to go ahead and add an adjustment layer. That's the little icon down here. It's a black and white circle. We're going to go ahead and click it. And let's start off with some hue and saturation. So now we've got our adjustment layer and our mask. And we're going to go ahead and start with saturation. And let's just bring that down some. Let's see about... I'm going to go with about 65. And you just have to kind of play with what works for you. Um, so, you know, the numbers might be a little different, but roughly this is the process. Uh, and you can see it's already lightened them some, but it looks a little odd, but we're going to fix that. And then we're going to take the lightness, and we're going to go ahead and move it up to, say, oh, 14, 15, 16, something like that. Yeah, about 16 looks good. All right, so... Now we have much wider teeth, but you can see there are some areas around it. They look a little blown out and not quite realistic, but we're going to fix that. So let's go ahead and hold Control and click on our human saturation layer mask. That will give us our selection back again. We're going to go ahead and add another adjustment layer. This time we're going to go ahead and choose Levels. And we're going to start with the shadows. Let's go ahead and bring that to around 9 to 11 whatever suits you. you have to play with the settings a little bit the midtones we're gonna go ahead and go back to about 84 roughly and then our highlights let's bring that on down to about oh let's see, maybe 240 and that looks pretty good right there so that'll help a little bit. Now uh, as far as we were talking about with the whiteness and it being blown out a little bit let's go ahead and take our levels and since it's selected let's go ahead and change the opacity just a little bit. We're going to bring it down to say let's say 60 percent roughly 60 percent and then we're going to go ahead and click on hue and saturation we're going to go ahead and bring down the opacity on it too. And let's go with, say, 75% roughly. 75%. And that's looking actually pretty good. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, you may go into the gums a little bit, and that's not really a problem. Because what you can do is click on the mask for hue and saturation. Make sure you have a black brush selected black color and then we're going to go up to our brushes let's make sure we have a soft brush set and 
we're just going to come in here gently. We're just going to remove some of that that it got into the gums that we really don't want. Like that right there. That side here. Just like that. Just ever so softly. A little bit meticulous about being careful, not jumping into your teeth. We don't want to ruin the color that we just set. Alright. And finally we'll go on this gum right here. Now, Let's go ahead and zoom out and take a look. That's looking much better. So we have went from nasty yellow teeth to nice white vibrant teeth. And if you take a look at where we started, you see those yellow nasty teeth and now we have nice white teeth. So at this point you're done. Go ahead and save your project as a PSD, or export it to JPEG, PNG, whatever you need to use it as, and you're all set. So I hope this has been helpful, and check out my other videos and tutorials from Sack Studios. Take care.